glad to see you finally made it, Pat. Annabelle. Oh, oh no! Just look at the state of you! <sighs> Come here, let me have a look. How are you feeling? Are you hurt? S stay back! I'm fine. <gasps> Perfectly fine. Well, more or less. Something else is bothering you, isn't it? <sighs> of course, the bell. There will be time for that later, pet. Won't you stay with me for a short while first? Finally, we have a moment together we didn't need to steal. It would be a pity to waste it. Come here. But... Hold still, you're a mess. You must regale me with your adventures, pet. I've barely done anything at all. <laughs> it's been terribly boring, waiting here all by myself. Your hands... What are you gonna do to me? Your hands are colder than ice. They... They sting like death. Uh, quite right. Apologies. I... I swear to you. I can't help it. When I'm like this, want this... Pleading. Any sort of heat I find, I deplete. It never lasts long. And then... I'm cold again. It hurts, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I forgot. I've gone rather numb. My sympathies. That's... that's terrible. <laughs> yes. Yes, I suppose it is. Oh, Linnor. I miss you so. But I'm right here. We're nearly strangers, though. Sometimes, I'm not altogether sure who I'm talking to. You look like Lenore. You speak like Lenore does. You act like Lenore, especially around everybody else. But there's something missing. You still don't remember, do you? No, I do! Please, don't feel lonely. I remember everything, Annabelle. Really? Then why do you still call me Annabelle? Because... it's your name, isn't it? Well, yes, but... but... <sighs> Never mind. I've gone and made you cry again. Perhaps I am as frigid and heartless as I look. It's sort of cruel, isn't it? How obvious it is now. <laughs> Pet? What do you think you're doing? Warming you up. But you'll freeze. Only for a minute or two. I don't mind. <laughs> Thank you. You feel... nice. You could just tell me, you know? Everything. All I've forgotten. All about who we were. All those blank spaces. I want to know. I want to know... how our story ends. I wish I could, more than anything, but we haven't yet reached the ending. That isn't what I meant. I know what you meant. But if I told you who to be, how to feel, what I thought we were, if I tampered with your memories that way, wouldn't you always wonder if I got it right? I would. So no, I shall tell you nothing. You needn't ask again. 
when you call me by the name you chose in life, I will know that my Lenore has been returned to me. And until then, I'll wait. <laughs> Once I despised waiting for anyone, for any amount of time, I thought it was a waste. But for you, Lenore, it's different. For you, I'd wait until the end of all things. After the end of this dream, and the next, and the next. Until the abyss reclaims us both, and then a little longer. I'm sorry. Hey, stop. You don't have to do that, you know. To wait. Even today, I wish you'd have been by my side instead. Is that so? Uh, Annabelle, mind your hands! I wasn't far. You should have invited me along. Uh, well, it was you downstairs, moving the pendulum. <laughs> it's work then. You could have helped me this entire time. Well, not from your pocket, pet. Not so fast. Uh, I think I'll keep this. Be a dear and tell Miss Poppet you lost it. Why? I have my reasons. You know, Annabelle. You aren't exactly how I remember you either. There's something d different about you. You're warmer, in a way. And quite a bit colder in the more literal sense. Pet. It seems I've been too greedy. You're in pain. Let me put an end to it. I don't... I don't need your help. I've come this far. I'll be fine. I just... I just need to... to... Need to do what? Annabelle, don't stop me. Please, you must understand. I need to ring the bell. Ah, uh, pet. You know I can't let you do that. <laughs> 